Now, I got one package here. I think it's a Tim, Tim, Timu Satchet bag. Um, See what do we get? Oh really? Eight foam adhesive closed cell phone padding. I thought they're gonna be big. Wow. They're like what three inches squared? Well at least I know not to order them again. And this is the ones I think I wanted, but nope. They're too hard because there's something out in the out in the, out in the uh, foyer or out in the utility room. I need to show you. And let's see here. Let me put you down. Okay, those aren't what I want either. There's ten of them. But I guess I can put them in the bottom of the tray so the, the wheels would have something to sit on instead of metal. I think this is the... Here, hang on. I still don't think that's soft enough. It's I gotta push on it kind of hard. They are self-adhesive. At least once I peel the back, I can stick them down. So I know those two products aren't what I'm looking for. I need some soft, really super soft foam. And I don't know where to get it. Tell me, somebody tell me where I can get really super soft foam because all that is going. Oh, there's my mountain of, uh, there's, there's stuff in every one of these boxes. Train stuff, toy stuff. Those back there I think are empty. Those are empty in there. But, metal cart, red. And it's got wheels on it too, for my trucks. And that's what the, the foam was for, was to line the, to line the trays. I got a black one coming too, but it didn't show up. I don't know if it's on back order or what. But that the foam was going to be the liners for the trays, but this isn't the right foam. I need the really super soft foam so it doesn't break the mirrors antennas off on the trucks. I don't know if I want the foam. I've, I saw a whole bunch of places where I could buy the cutout foam, but I don't know. If it was thinner, if it was like this thin, and you could cut it out, it'd be great. Then I could put it down, and the truck wouldn't move. I could cut the wheel, cut the wheel holes out, and place it down, and then just do every so often, and then they, I could keep separation that way. But I'm afraid that's a lot of cutting that I don't think I want to do. I forget if I could just put a truck, have all the liners, have all the trays lined with the foam on the floor, on the bottom, and on the sides. Which they're about two inches deep, and I don't want to get too, you know, maybe I don't even want to put any foam on the bottom. Maybe just have the wheel set on, on the metal, and then take the foam and cut strips at two inches wide and place down between the trucks. So the mirrors, well, I guess if I did it small enough, if I only cut like a half an inch, I can space them between the trucks below the mirrors so the mirrors still wouldn't hit I don't know because I'm pretty sure all the boxes for my trucks have been tossed so I can't put them back in the boxes so 
I need to, I need to really super, I guess, open cell, open cell foam, really super soft. I don't know if it's black or gray. I've seen some black, I've seen some gray, but these, these two products are too hard. They will have, to, this is definitely hard. That's, this is harder than this. So this I can push down on it. See, it's, it's, you know, it's not leaving an indention, but this is really hard. I got to push really hard to get, you know, even to go through that. I don't want my mirrors up against that. That's too hard. That's going to be on the floor. I'll put them on the, on the floor, or maybe I'll cut little strips. Maybe I'll just cut double up strips, catch two strips out of this and put, glue them together and then put them between each, each truck and trailer. You know, trailers don't matter. Trailers can rub up against each other. There's nothing on the trailers. Well, except for the cattle trailer, maybe. Box trailers can rub up against each other. The containers can rub up against each other. But I'm not definitely going to fill this. This, the toolbox... I mean... Yeah, I don't think I want to fill the toolbox with it in the basement. But it'd be nice to have everything, and these are, or have everything in you know, one location. The point of the toolbox was, if I were to build the layout in the garage, then the toolboxes would fit underneath the bench work. Of course, they're going to fit underneath the bench work down here in the basement too. But that way, if I'm in the garage... <laughs> And I get to the point where I get retired, and I can take the portable train layout with the toolboxes, roll them up a ramp into the trailer, and haul them to some place. Then I don't have to be transferring trucks to, you know, right now all my trucks are in these boxes here, these containers here, which work. They do work. See, they're all filled up in that one there, and that one there, but there's no separation. So mirrors are getting hit and knocked around, and... Yeah, I got my old Tyco train cars in three of those. Trucks and trucks. Trucks there. Uh, books in that one. There's some train cars in that one. Uh, some miscellaneous. And looks like electrical wire. Trucks and trucks in that one. That had trucks, but most of those trucks in that one, I think, are down here someplace. Yeah, I like them. I do like these. Oh, my, all my Mark Kulak stuff. I need to get them out and start putting them together. Out of all these, these are paper tray containers. They're eight and a half by eleven. Actually, what are they? You see, I just bought them at Walmart. And some are blue, some are green. They're all the same size. They they interlock with each other. There's a little play, but they still stack on each other. I got a whole bunch of them. The game plan was to make a wooden cart for those, and those would just fit inside. I wasn't going to make individual shelves because they fit, you know, they stack on top of each other. And just make a box, and they all fit in the box, and then I put a, some type of wood barrier on the outside so they wouldn't slide out, lock it down, and and then have wheels on it and roll it up the... I'm still thinking about making a... If I do the layout downstairs, I'm still thinking about trying to make some type of vertical, not vertical, but horizontal, horizontal platform that will go up a track that's mounted to the wall, and we'll just take a simple winch to winch the the platform up and keep the platform at a level. Instead of putting a ramp down and trying to, you know, putting wood, plywood down and then have to tug up or push, have someone pull and someone push the the um, carts up the stairs. I think bolting a track and mounting a, mounting a platform in the track so it would roll but stay, ver stay horizontal with the world. And you just go up, and then it gets to the top landing, and then just roll it off. That's the game plan. If I build anywhere. I mean, if I build in the basement. Temporary again. Still trying to work on a... Trying to get my ducks in a row and get some money saved up to build a building. 
at the uh, house I now own. Yes, I own a house. Not this house. Where my parents are living. But they're still living there. And I can't do what I want to do. But anyway, I still have another box of uh, toys coming, but I don't know where they're at. Did that fall off the trailer? Oh, I think the landing gear's crooked. Looks like that loves landing trailers. It's crooked. That's a 64 scale. Well, except for except for the Loves truck. Yeah, I got a 43rd scale truck, Loves truck, on a 64th scale truck, <laughs> which doesn't work. But that's 43rd. That truck there, that Miller Heavy Haul or GN. Both of those and the both Loves trailers are 43rd. Everything else is 64th. Except for those two pieces, the two cranes there are 87th. I'm thinking about using that for my 87th mining pit with my cat shovels but haven't decided yet anyway i think that's it that's all i got for now there might be a box at the post office maybe i need to go check the post office all right later